straight towards us. Got a little bit of a limp, and that's not unusual for a male lion. Judy H is correct. He says, if we find lions, it's a good omen for the rugby. I agree, Judy. Look at that. I'm trying to figure out which front left. It's a bit sore. But nothing serious. A bit hungry, but other than that, immaculate condition. Better than starting your morning with a big cat. Oh, he's going to have a stretch. I think we might be in for a treat for, with a roar, so I'm going to try to get in front of him. So if he, oh no, he's on the move again. If he does roar, we get the full blast. I hope you guys are getting some fantastic screenshots. Well, Ladybug and Daisy says, oh yeah, cat -a day And of course, a week ago, we were lucky enough to see that Nkahumas catch that buffalo on cat -a day And it had been a very, very bleak cat -a day up until the last hour and a half of drive. Oh, he's on a mission. Go. Where are you going to go to next? Now, male lions can travel incredible distance and normally don't move more than about 8 or 10 k's in a night, but they're capable of doing about 30 when they really want to. It reminds me of a, a very funny story. So, uh, I'm sure we've got some new viewers. Oh, that's the flock. There we go. Um, uh, so my mother um, was a top ten tennis player in her time, and uh, she has two Wimbledon titles, two U.S. Open titles. And uh, at the age of 23, she retired from tennis when she met a long-haired Zambian, my dad. And what happened was. Uh, on their honeymoon, they did some of the, the fancy places, nice hotels, etc. And then my dad, being my dad, took my mother in a tiny little A-frame, two-man tent, camping. And their first night in the proper bush in Botswana at a place called Mai Pan. Um, my my uh, mom and dad got into their tent uh, and got in there. And as they went to bed, one of these guys started calling. Mm. And my mother said to my father, Kevin, Kevin, how far away is that? And my dad said, oh, I don't know, seven, six or seven k's. And uh, let's just try to get parallel to him. And my dad says there was silence for about 20 minutes. And then my mother said, Kevin, Kevin, how far can a man or a lion walk at night? It's like, oh, I don't know, 25, 30 kilometers. And that was it. Mom was out of the tent and into the car. Uh, and hard to believe that a few years later she would sit by herself reading a book next to a pride of lions waiting for the game drives to come find it. Okay, we're going to zoot up ahead. And... Oh, sorry about that. It seems like my um, microphone has fallen down inside my many layers of warmth. So if you hear some slightly disturbing noises, I apologize. 